Hey kittens, Silver here with Maisie the Australian Shepherd by Douglas Cuddle Toys and I'm here to bring you an uncharacteristically late unboxing. Um, I just had a delivery from uh, the UPS driver. Um, it was supposed to get delivered way way earlier than it was. Uh, it is now about quarter to eight at night but it finally arrived um, against the odds so I'm really happy that uh, that it actually came as scheduled because I was starting to give in to despair there for, for a little bit. Um, but we have today a new Douglas dog that is sort of shrouded in mystery. I have no idea what uh, dog this is exactly. Um, it was just one of those spur of the moment decisions that I, that I made on um, when I saw this on Mercari. Uh, it was a dog that I'd never seen before, and just doing some preliminary research online, I could not find any information or any other pictures of it. So um, it was a, a low enough price that I figured, you know, go for it. <laughs> Why not? Um, that's just been my philosophy these days. So let's take a look. This is going to be a golden doodle, according to the listing. Sort of a... It's a very different texture. Yeah, much different than um, than the deluxe fabric for sure. It's got yeah, definitely more of a shaggy look to it. You can see it's got sort of oh wow, it's really really floppy though. The beans and the uh, it looks like I got the front paw there. He's got a collar too. Look at that. And this is going to be a big boy um, if the listing was accurate. So let me see. Oh boy, I'm excited and a little nervous. Let me see. So he is a Douglas. Oh wow, he's heavy too. He's really, really well weighted. Okay, let's take a look. So let's see. Okay. <laughs> he did a face plant right out of the box. Poor guy. All right, let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at him. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my gosh. I've never, ever seen a dog like this before. But I think, I'm guessing they're probably right in saying that he's a golden doodle. He definitely has that look. Oh wow, he's so cute though. And he's super floppy. Like this this dog, he's, he's more weighted than... um. Than the other deluxe dogs, I have some of the larger jumbo size, which I believe um, this dog would probably be about the same dimensions, um, but extra floppy and um, a lot heavier than uh, than the deluxe dogs, which is nice. That's gonna uh, that's really gonna up his uh, cuddle ante for sure. Let me just take a look uh, compared to Maisie. Let's see. Look at the long tail as well. Wow. <laughs> so, okay, this is Maisie. So, so yeah, he's, uh, yeah, he's definitely, he's a little bigger. Maybe not quite the size of, uh, the Jumbo Deluxe, but definitely bigger than, uh, than the regular, um, Deluxe dogs, which are, I think, about 18 inches or so. So, he's definitely over 20 inches. I bet the uh, uh, the seller must have um, just added this collar on their own. I don't think this would normally come with him. You can see it's very loose. Um, does it say something on there? No, probably just the just the name. That, that was really nice though of them to to add that. I can always use some extra accessories for my dogs. But um, I believe the seller said that this was a Cabela's exclusive. Um, Cabela's, I guess, is a, a retail merchandiser, which um, I'm not really all that familiar with. I, I think it's maybe more prevalent in certain states, um, but they do get exclusive um, Douglas plush. I know I've seen some dogs um, from Cabela's that have their little handkerchief um, around the neck with the name of uh, Cabela's on it. So uh, I'm guessing that this must be the case with this particular one. Wow, I really love this guy, though. He's so so floppy. I can't even emphasize enough. Just look at how floppy that is. Ooh, <laughs> oh, poor guy. I'm just beating him up. Um, so now let me see. His nose is actually a fabric nose, which is different also from uh, 
for most of the other deluxe dogs. They, they tend to have the, the faux leather noses like, like Maisie here. This one has a nice uh, soft fabric nose. Has like a, it's like a velvet actually. It's a velvety texture. And those big brown eyes, they really stand out against the light cream colored fur. And let's see if there's any other identifying information on the tag. I, I'm thinking probably not just, you know, washing instructions and that sort of thing. Oh, if it focuses. Yeah, let me see. Uh, well, we have an item number, it looks like. So maybe I can find something out just based on that. Um, wow, this guy is really impressive, though. I mean... Talk about, you know, just a king of cuddles, <laughs> this guy. Um, yeah, he's definitely, he's going to have a top spot up on the bed, I think, for sure. So really, really happy with this purchase. Um, and if anybody knows anything about this particular plush, uh, please let me know because uh, I would love to find out more about it. Um, I'm going to probably do a little more searching around and see if I can uh, find out just who this is. But really really happy with this plush um, so glad that I, uh, that I took the plunge and um, just decided to go for it <laughs> because that's just how I do so uh, thank you guys so much for watching uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing my new little mystery golden doodle or I shouldn't say little my, <laughs> my quite large mystery golden doodle and I will see you again very soon with some more plush goodness for you all bye everybody